all of my Animal Crossing New Horizons friends. We are on another island tour and I am so excited to share this island with you. It's Paige here. So if you just stumbled across my channel for the first time, well welcome. So in this tour we are on Scenewood. We've got Nortastic, Mary, Audie, Blue Bear, Lily, Cherie, Gala, Flora, Tangy, Annalise, and June are her little villagers on this cute, adorable island. So I am so happy that you've decided to join me for this tour. This tour is going to be absolutely delightful. Just check out the front entrance of her island. She has this cute little boardwalk area where you walk off the airplane and you're greeted with all of the fun shops. And check out this. Is this a Napoleon fish or is it a parrot fish? I have no idea, but it is super duper cool right here at the front. And I've never caught one of those, and so I think that is super duper cool. Anyway, what I've noticed about her island and what really drew me to um, wanting to tour this island is that she's used this unique way of making a boardwalk area with all of the little touristy shops right here by the beach. And this is something you would actually see on a real life, like tropical touristy island. And so here we have the surf shop. And then I don't know for sure, but this little yellow one, this looks kind of like a little pub or maybe a little, I don't know, a place to get food. And then we have the smoothie shop. And this smoothie shop is super duper cute. I love that sign. And so I'll be sure to include the smoothie shop sign in the description box below. But oh my heavens, the retro furniture just makes that look so perfect for a little shop. And then out here by the beach, We've got Nook's Cranny, and I love how she's placed little bicycles around her island. So if you want to bicycle around her island and to get around, it will be so fun and just makes it look more like you're on vacation. Just relax, take your time. And then another thing I noticed right here in her front entrance, other than, of course, these cute little shops, is that she has placed the water code on the sand to create an extended ocean an ocean um, extension to make it look more like you're right on the water and i think that is really 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 exciting and fun so instead of a huge beach area we have a lot of water to play in and frolic in. And here's a little spot to just lay out on the water and enjoy the sand and the surf. I love the little windows through the boardwalk too to look down at the water, all the tropical fish. Here we've got beach balls and those little life rings that you can float around on and the cute little sand castle out here on the beach. One thing you need to know about the sand castles is they do come in two colors of sand. And so if you get the darker sand castle, it's for summertime. And then the lighter colored sand castle is for winter because the sand changes colors through the seasons. And here's a little tropical area to come and sit and eat, drink some pina colada. I love all the beach chairs by the water. I think this is a perfect example of, of what you can do to create that tropical resort of your dreams. Also, the tiki bar is a must. You must have a tiki bar on your tropical island. Here's a perfect example of how to create the most adorable tiki bar. You can order your fruit, fruit, fruity, fruit, fruit, drinks, your Mai Tais, 
and all those yummy, delicious drinks that we all love. Here's Blue Bear's house. He's so she's so lucky to be out here by the water. She's got her hammock and her little sand castle and the wicker rug. And then there's a place for friends to hang out right there. Oh, I forgot she had Lily. Isn't Lily so perfect for a tropical island? And then of course the cute, adorable little sundresses out here in front of Abel's sisters. I would love to get that blue dress. That blue dress is just darling. More places out by the water for, for friends to come and just enjoy laying out in the sunshine. Oh my gosh, Ruby just noticed that there's presents out here. Let's pick these up and see what she's giving us. Absolutely love. One of the things about going to Nora's Islands is she always leaves, leaves out the most fun gifts. And I cannot wait to see what she's left out for us this time. How exciting and fun. All right, let's check it out. Thank you so much, Nora, for the wonderful gifts. You are just darling and I love, I love all of your creativity. Did you know that those blow up um, things were little beach beds? <laughs> I didn't know what they were when I first got them. All right, so we're gonna put on some comfy sandals. And then, of course, the grass skirt. And the hula top. And then we've got a chic tulip crown. Definitely wanna wear that with the ribbon sandals or the flower sandals. There, I'm all ready to go explore her island some more. Oh, wait, we need this little shellfish poquette. Shellfish, yeah, poquette. It's like a little purse. Yay, thank you. Thank you so much. I look darling. Absolutely adorable. Now we're ready to really enjoy the sand and the surf and the sunshine. So she's put a lot of her villagers right here by the water. Nice little villager area. Notice how she's used some of the tropical items in decorating the front of their houses. I love how she put that little um, life, not life preserver, but the little life ring on top of the barrel. We've got a little abandoned beach ball here left out in the water floating around. Ooh, look at this. I didn't know this was here, but a little area to have some delicious cake. And then, oh, fresh squeezed lemonade. Oh my gosh, this is so perfect. So after you've been swimming, you can go get a nice fruity lemonade. And then just heading back here through the palm trees, there's a spot that I really am excited to show you. First, let's look at this villager's decor in front of their house. We've got the hot tub and little beach chairs and she's left out some nice delicious fruit. Here's our darling little Nora. Look at her outfit. We match. Yay, we're twins. Hi. Hi, Nora. She says welcome. Oh my gosh, she has freckles. How cute. Oh my gosh, she looks so darling. So we've got the Lazy River here where you can go and float around in the Lazy River and just enjoy, enjoy that. Every island needs a lazy river. Oh my gosh, so adorable. And these life preservers, you can trade these with friends. So your little store will give you a certain color and then you'll need to 
go talk to your friends to get all the different colors. All right, let's put on our scuba gear because we are going diving or cannonballing, cannonballing, I guess. Woohoo! Isn't this fun? I love the water. Oh my gosh, so fun. So we're just swimming, we're swimming, and let's go back to shore. Love her little cannonball area. I don't know how to do that trick where you jump off and do a flip. So I'll have to learn that skill later. Over on this side of her beach, we just have more coconut trees and nothing really other than natural beaches on this side. So we're just gonna go back and get back in the water. <laughs> Ruby's blowing some bubbles. All right, so let's go swim, 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 swim. to the beach, the sandy beaches. She's very good at swimming. Good job. Okay, let's get out of these clothes and explore the rest of her adorable sweet island. So I forgot how to put my outfit back on. Let's wear this little shirt. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, now put the hula top on. I'm ready to go. Ready to go. So Nora has generously left lots of her codes on her Instagram account in the code area. And so I will be grabbing all of those that I can find so I can share those with you in this um, video. It will be in the description box below. Love all the different fruity popsicles that she's leaving out for us. And the nice cold drinks. There's some kiwi lime popsicles and some or orange dreamsicle popsicles. Here's ice cream shop. Who doesn't love ice cream? You can get mint chocolate chip or strawberry or Rocky Road. And then we have a cute little uh, villager house up here by the by the infinity pool. Super awesome. Yeah, um, Nora just barely created this island, so this is one of her new um, builds that she's built. And I cannot, I can't keep up with her. She's always creating the most wonderful, interesting islands. Before you know it, she will have created something else for us to enjoy and explore. I love all the tropical flowers that she's chose for her island, and she's not afraid to use a lot of color. So it looks like the majority of her flowers are in the yellows and yellows and pinks. Oh, there is an orange flower. Look at that. Look at this terraforming right by her residence house, by Nora's house. And the hot tub, oh, how lovely, right there in the front. So we're not gonna go explore her house because she has used all of her creativity on the outside and has not had a chance to decorate the inside yet. Here is a private pool area like it a lot that is very very nice and of course um looking at this private private area 
You can see how perfectly decorated. And then we've got the Mamma Mia area. Hello, Gayla. She is so cute. Oh my gosh, I love her little shirt. So this reminds me of the movie Mamma Mia. It's kind of like a Greek inspired um, area because of the blue and white buildings. So perfect for a tropical island. And Tangy, oh my gosh, you're so cute. You match this island so perfectly. Tangy is the kitty on the island. I love all the butterflies that she's placed here and there and everywhere. And oh, the flamingos, the flamingo area. So this is like the flamingo, like water area where all the flamingos like to hang out. Very nice. Here we're at the beach, not the beach, but another private pool area. And a lily is just wandering around. So she's got a couple of private pool spots. And now we're down by the by the waterfront where we began. Now you can get a second look at all the cool stuff that she has down here. The fruity infused water and oh of course the hibiscus surfboard in front of the surf shop is so cute. Love that she's caught a little fish and put it in her terrarium for us to enjoy. In the pub. So, so many great ideas and inspiration. I never knew what to use those lifeguard chairs for, and now I hear some great uses for those, along with the log furniture. Oh my gosh, she has a little sand castle over there. Can you see it on the sand? How stinking cute is that? All right, we're gonna go. I'm looking for her private beach. And I think we were there before, but we just couldn't, we just couldn't get to it. So maybe, pretty sure it's on the other side of this private pool area, the secret beaches. And we can't, we can't get down there. Oh, this is just lovely up here though. I love it up here. So nice. She's got beach chairs with a book to lay out and just read a book or, or catch up on your social media on your phone, whatever you want to do. Alright, let's go check out the campground. I think it's this way. Oh, we've got the Lazy River spot. And where is her campground? Checking out the map. How do we get to I think I found it. Oh my gosh, you guys, I found it. <gasps> Ooh, it's a luau. It's a luau inspired campground. This is excellent. Oh my gosh, check it out, you guys. This is so cool. This is really, really neat. I love it. It's so awesome. So if you Stand here and look up. Let's see what we can see when we look up. 
The view is gonna be absolutely amazing. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Have you ever been to a luau before? That's exactly what it looks like. That is really, really cool. So she used the camping spot as the stage. And I think that is really quite clever of her. All right, we're gonna head down to the front and look around some more and see if there's anything we missed. But so far this island has been very rewarding and it has given us lots and lots of good ideas for our own little tropical islands. If there are any items that you wish you could get in the game that are hard to get, you can always check out this website that I will include at the end of my video. It's a website that, um, that gives you Nook Mile tickets at, for a really good price and bells so you can get everything in the game that you want to get. And I will also include that in the description box. Love going on vacation on beautiful tropical islands. The island of scene wood. I'm just walking randomly through the private pool area. <laughs> Hey Lily, what do you think of this cool little private pool? I love the tile that she's chose to surround the pool too. Here we are going over the bridge and look at the water down there. The terraforming is so amazing. So it's kind of natural around the, the um, you know, touristy spots. So she's kept some of her natural areas as well. Oh, yay, we found Tangy's house. Look how sweet. I love the tile that she's used under the orange furniture. That is so tangy inspired. And then she's got the, a nice yellow sunshiny lighthouse on the rocks down there. So since I don't have a ladder, we're not going to be able to go down to the lighthouse, but you can kind of see it from above. This is really, really nice and tropical right here. I'm going to have a second look at the Mamma Mia area. I love how she's used the festival like garlands to decorate that bridge back there. And is this Flora's house? Oh my gosh, I think that was Flora's house. All right. So wrapping up this video, I just want to tell you that I appreciate each and every one of you so much and thank you so much for sticking to the end of my video because I really appreciate it. If you like videos like this, be sure to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my further uploads. So we're just heading down to the front, but I just want to take one quick look around one more time just to get a little bit more inspiration. Oh my gosh, there is Flora. Isn't she so cute? I absolutely love Flora. When I had her on my island, I would always gift her um, hats, tropical hats. Every tropical hat that I could find, I would give it to Flora and just enjoy watching her wear a different hat every, every day. So, I love how she has color coordinated all of her pillow cushions on the log furniture and also the Zen cushions are color coordinated to match. And that's one thing that you can 
do when you're decorating your own island is pick a pick a color way that you enjoy and just match all of your like zen and pillows to match throughout your island's build. The little stacks of books and the butterfly book is a nice touch as well. And who doesn't like to read a book while on vacation? So having little books around is great. So here is the website that I was telling you about in earlier. This is where you can get the things that you need for your game. And thank you so much for sticking to the end and we'll see you next time. Bye everyone. Have a magical day. Thank you.